This is the fountain outside of the library, the Morris Library on the campus of Southern Illinois University Carbondale. A friend of mine had gotten a call about 11 a.m. on Saturday, May 15th, saying that the fountain was all soapy, so naturally we had to come over with a camera and check it out. Uh, here's all the suds. Apparently, uh, the night before, uh, a couple of uh, rat finks, some hooligans, some dirty, depraved deviants out there, dumped a bunch of, uh, obviously, it's some kind of soap into the fountain. And I guess they, they, they did a good job choosing the, the right amount of soap to use. Uh, this was uh, this video was taken at about noon, 12.30 that Saturday. It was, this was the final weekend of the spring semester, 2010, at SIU. Uh, here, one of my buddies, he's uh, deciding to stick his hand into it to see how, uh, how deep it is. That's Tom right there. Give Tom a big hand and give me a hand for my terrible cam camera angle. But he's got about... It's about a cubit of foam there, so that's a that's a real, real good amount of soap in there. Here I am about to walk some of the length of the the fountain there. You can see how uh, the soap is spilled over onto the sidewalk. Uh, obviously, from uh, uh, early in the morning when they uh, when the fountain t first turned on, they must have it on some kind of timer. Uh, you can see it all over. Oh, that must have been a glorious sight seeing all that that soap come up and over the fountain. Well, There's a good amount of it there. See, and they even blocked off some of the sidewalks so you couldn't get to it. No, it's not because they're doing work there with that gravel. It's because of the soap, I assume. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big fountain. Pretty big fountain. It's a nice fountain. One of those infinity fountains. Look at that. Look at that soap moving about. Hmm. Don't, wouldn't you like to take a bath in it? You can put all your dirty clothes in there and have clean clothes. It'll be nice. Real nice. Clean clothes are nice. Another shot. Me walking away from the fountain. You can get all the, the soap on the sidewalk once again. Uh, when our buddy had called us, he said that there was a security guard out there watching the fountain. Uh, when we had arrived, he was already gone. Uh, not sure what he was there for, maybe waiting for the um, suspects to return to the scene of the crime, this sea of foam and soapy sudsiness. Maybe not really like a sea, maybe more like a channel, a channel of foam. Uh, here you can see, um, I wouldn't assume that they would pour the soap up there. I believe that that is just the water circulating from the bottom back to the top. Obviously, it's taken some soap up with it. That's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you'd think it would make some more soap, but no, just the soapy residue. And right about now, we're going to uh, end with some final thoughts from some um, a couple people who uh, just walked out of the library to return some books. And... Um, they're going to give us their, uh, well, one of them is going to give us uh, his final thoughts on this tragedy. I think whoever did this is a menace to society and should be severely reprimanded and then given a very large cash prize.